Good day and welcome back. As you guys can see behind me, I'm not too sure exactly what we are standing on. Cruising out here into the bush, I just had to do a delivery and uh, came across this thing. I know that they built a pipeline down this road, or down this way. As you guys can see behind me, we got another, they dug that all up. That's a big, uh, the trans, our uh, key line pipeline or whatever you want to call it there. But uh, in this section, they haven't done this anywhere else really. But over here, they, they laid out all these logs. Like, that would have took a lot of work. They got it all going all the way down there. And then they got uh, a little pipeline building right there. And then just on the other side, they got it going off into the bush. Not sure exactly why, but it is interesting. Kind of wish I brought out the drones. We could get a bit of a drone footage of this. Might still do that in a later video, but uh, if anyone has a bit of knowledge on this, this is part of a pipeline. Just not too sure exactly why they laid all these trees out like this. Uh, well, we came out here, uh, we were out here probably roughly last year, and uh, it was all, they logged this all out, they had logs all put to the side, and then coming out again now, they got them all scattered out just like this and they are like someone took some time to get these all laid out exactly like they're nicely all placed that's a lot of logs something interesting though i thought i'd bring to you uh at the beginning of this video let's get into it though All right, so a little update on our last video with our engine there. We did get it all cleaned out there with a couple oil changes. It took, uh, I guess, two oil changes. The third one stayed in. As you guys saw at the very beginning of the video there, how milky it was that came out. It was almost like a milkshake. Second one came out more like a kind of caramel cutter. And uh, when we, uh, after that one, we pretty much, uh, we wasted a good, I'm going to say probably good, close to 10 liters, just uh, running it through making sure no more uh, there was these little white flakes that were coming out there and we ran her through until we couldn't get any of those more coming out here. Got her muffler put back on there and she's been running pretty fine now. Got you guys turned around here. We got ourselves a tarp now put on it and that's gonna be staying on it every time that we're not using it or we're just, it's when it's just sitting idly here. But this evening we got ourselves couple orders going out here tomorrow we're just getting all tossed in here we got ourselves a quarter cord in the back of the truck that's going down to calgary we're also heading out to the kananaskis area into the mountains and uh we'll be taking a couple campers a half cord worth of wood out that way but uh, that's what we're doing this evening here also getting ready for tomorrow we got ourselves a little tree job kind of a half dead birch there uh they've been kind of chipping away at it there for a little bit just with their hand saws and they got they're just the final top pieces that they need uh, somebody to come in there so we're gonna go get that uh taken down for them tomorrow i'm not sure if we're gonna get that on t tomorrow's video or on the next video just because it is kind of a smart little smaller job and i don't really record those but uh we got a little bit of uh footage that's gonna be putting up here today in this video of our just our last job we've been really going going with these uh, tree jobs here lately and unfortunately not getting too much video footage so I'm kind of gonna just jam a little bit of stuff in for today's video we will come up with something better though on our next video on Saturday but uh, like I said we just been uh, delivering firewood knocking down people's trees and it's just been really busy here lately but let's get on to today's video hope you guys enjoy it all right good day guys round two for this uh intro of this video because uh it was just a really hectic day yesterday and we didn't get any video footage like i kind of thought we were gonna do but uh we got all the all the scraps all cleaned up in the backyard we got the front yard all cleaned up as like, i'm just gonna post post a little photo right here for you guys to see
So we got all that cleaned up and uh, we got our first tree down. And then we just got our last tree here. I already st I already climbed up on the roof here and I was hand sawing a few of these uh, branches off. So just so it would make it a little bit easier so they don't fall on uh, this main, this power line that's going to the house. Not gonna zap us or nothing. It's a, it is a insulated wire so we are safe on there. We don't want to cut it or whatnot. But instead of having the tree branches fall on it as we're up there trying to lift those branches off and throw them down in this little tight area, we decided to just climb up on the roof there and uh, chop a few of those guys down. And that's what we got left here to do today. Plus we got all of our cleanup, of course. But uh, I'm gonna set you guys up on just the tripod down here. I'm gonna throw the GoPro on my head. Get a couple, a uh, little bit of footage for you guys there. I'm gonna set you guys up probably down here somewhere. Let's get going on this tree. So we're up here again pretty much. We're just gonna clear the See if you guys are even on. Oh yeah. I don't know how good that view is. The camera's bent all the way down. But we are at the top of the tree. Ooh, hopefully I don't drop the camera. But like I said, we got the majority of the heavier stuff on this side leaning this way. Cut down. We got a decent amount of weight on the other end where we're gonna be dropping it. We got a good good amount of area to drop it in. Let's get going though. We're just gonna make our notch right here. And that should be good to go. Let's go.
better not. And here we go, guys. The dropper. Beautiful, and that's a ton of pine cones that we're gonna have to clean up. And now, time for some water. As you guys saw, we did drop a couple pieces onto uh, this area. He said we were able to, they're gonna be tearing that down anyways. And we weren't too concerned about dropping them on the fence because they're replacing that too. Big renovation house, they already got that front. Uh, front fence all torn down, they got they got their work handed out for them. Worked out for them though on this one. But enjoy the view and get back on. Let's get out of here. All right, so we're gonna wrap that up for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed that video. It was uh, two trees there we had to take down. Customer's really happy. A ton of branches he got us to haul out. A lot more than I was expecting, but uh, we got the job all done there up for him. Also leaded to another job just two days after that. And uh, it's possibly gonna open us up to more jobs, of course, because these guys like to uh, buy and sell these uh, old houses and uh, they like to clean up the trees first thing they could do when they get onto these properties. But uh, we'll talk to you guys again later on this week. Thanks for tuning in to Harm's Eye Life. Bye guys.